Hi everybody, welcome back to Balina YouTube channel. My name is Layan, product builder and developer advocate here at Balina, back with another video. And this time I wanted to talk about uh, different ways to deploy an application with Balina. Uh, so you just discovered a cool new application or a project, uh, maybe on Hub or a GitHub or blog, and you wanted to deploy uh, it as a release on your Balina Cloud application. Uh, so all the devices in your fleet get that. Uh, whether it's Raspberry Pi, NVIDIA Jetson, or Intel Look. Uh, so there are a couple of ways to do that. And in this video, I wanted to talk about all of them. Uh, so this is going to be a quick run and gun short video. But uh, as always, feel free to follow along. Or if you have any questions, reach us uh, in the comment section below or on the forums. And we are always happy to help. All right, so let's talk about the first way of deploying an application with Balena. And this is also my favorite way. And I think also the most uh, used way. So this is called Balena Push. Uh, basically, you will need a Balina CLI application installed on your development machine. You could download that from the link below, or you could also refer my last video. Uh, once you have the Balina CLI installed, you can actually log in using Balina login, and you could access all the fleets using Balina fleets. Uh, these are the commands. Uh, so let's say you came across an application or a project on GitHub, and you want to deploy this using Balena uh, in a fleet that already exists on your Balena Cloud account with devices like Raspberry Pi or NVIDIA Jetson or Intel Nook. And you see that, OK, this is a Balina compatible project. I want to deploy it. So what you could do is you could actually clone this into your local development machine using git clone. And uh, once the application is cloned, you could uh, see that there is, in fact, a, a Docker file dot template here. Uh, if I open this for you, uh, this will have all the steps of uh, how Balina builders can build an image out of this and push it uh, to uh, your devices on the fleet. So what I could actually do now is I could uh, use this command called Balina Fleets, and I can see all the fleets available on my Balina Cloud uh, uh, dashboard. And I want to deploy this application to one of the fleets called Sensor to Notion. So what I could actually do is I have to be in the same directory as the project. And from here, I can do a Balina push and the fleet name or the fleet slug. Balina push sensor to Notion. And what this is going to do is going to package this application, send it to Balina builders. They will build the image for my project and push it to Balina dashboard. And from there, all my devices can download the latest uh, images of this release. Uh, one thing that you have to note that this uh, directory must have a Docker file or uh, uh, something to build it from. It could be a Docker Compose. It could be a Docker file. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, building it's uh, building the images on an ARM builder, so it's relatively very fast because this is a fleet of ARM devices. I remember setting it up for Raspberry Pi 4, and once this is built, uh, it will be successful and it will be sent to the Balina dashboard. And this is the very first way of uh, deploying an application or a project. This usually uh, is useful if you discovered a project on a GitHub and you want to try and deploy it with Balina. So that's the first project. I won't uh, gonna complete it because it, it could take some time to build it. Uh, but yeah, if you come across any project that you want to deploy, which have a Docker file, you could clone it. You could do a Balina push uh, fleet name, and this gonna build and it's gonna update all your devices with the uh, the latest image that you just built. All right, now let's talk about the second way, which is a relatively cool way of for deploying an application with Balena, and this is called deploy with Balena. So anytime you came across uh, this button called deploy with Balena, you can actually click it and deploy your fleet directly from a GitHub repo. So you could see this button uh, in different places, like uh, this GitHub repo has one. Also, if you go to some of the blogs, uh, this uh, button you can also see, uh, you will have here deploy with Balena. So what you could do is you could directly click it, and this will take this application and deploy it in your Balena Cloud uh, dashboard. So let's see that. So if I'm going to click this deploy with Balena, you could see I'm redirected to the Balena Cloud dashboard, and it's saying that uh, uh, this is the sensor to Notion fleet. You could definitely change a different name. So I'm going to do sensor to Notion hyphen text. And uh, I can also change the device type for this. Uh, definitely, you can make all sort of changes. So I'm going to do a create and deploy. And uh, once it's done, uh, it's going to pull the latest release. And in the meantime, you could definitely add a new device like uh, usually and do all sort of things that you always do. And whenever your device is ready, you will get the new fleet. Uh, this is a really great method because you could directly deploy from the blogs or from GitHub repo uh, without having to go through the the building process and you could skip downloading balina cli as well because you don't have to do balina cli so that's another way of uh, uh, deploying uh, an application on balina fleet using uh, deploy with balina now let's talk about the third way of deploying with balina so this way involves balina hub so if you go to hub.balina.io uh, you could see under the project section uh, there are a lot of different projects that you could deploy. And I'm going to deploy the same project. So let me search it for that. So the project name is Sensor uh, to Notion. 
I just changed the name so uh, you could see. And uh, what you could actually do is you could click for this fleet here. And again, this is going to take you to a Balina Cloud dashboard. And this is going to create a new fleet. In the similar manner, you could click, click, uh, create and deploy. And you could add a new device. So uh, this is another way of deploying a fleet from Balina Hub. Also check out different projects. We have a lot of uh, projects that you could uh, uh, deploy from this uh, uh, no, Balina Hub. So we have uh, projects like uh, Balina Sound, which creates a multi-room sound streaming. We could uh, we could also do a Balina Dash, so you could display any URL on uh, a monitor connected with the device like Raspberry Pi. So yeah, these are the three different ways of deploying an application with the Balina. Uh, the number one was Balina Push. Then we have the deploy with Balina Button. And lastly, I showed you how to do that with the Hub. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have any questions and uh, if you have uh, uh, any feedback for this. And as always, uh, feel free to follow the Balina blog, uh, Balina forums. And we are doing uh, meetups every month. If you want to join, sign up on the newsletter and you will get all the updates. So thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.